Hello, hello. <clears throat> Good grief. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Start off with a croaky throat. How are we all doing? Uh, let me just make sure I've got the right chat tab thing open. Lavender Cowboy, hello. Nina, hello. Zia, I hope I'm saying your name right, but hello. Draco, hello. Uh, EI, stop, hello. Who have we got? Tank, hello, May. Enjoy your puzzle. And Nina, also, did I say hi to Nina already? I, my brain. <laughs> How are you all doing? Casey, hello. And Minnie Nova, also, hello. Um, got me coffee here. Michael made me a coffee because I was, um, frantically rushing around to get him ready. I lost track of time editing. Um, shock horror. <laughs> Because I hello also. And we've got Kyle, Jennifer, Eric. How are you doing? Insert original name. Hello, hello. I hope you have had a good rest on Monday. You love the coffee mud? Thank you. It's uh, a nightmare before Christmas one. I know it's like the wrong time of year. I just really love this mug. It's kind of weird to drink out of because it's got corners, but I just like pick one, <laughs> pick one and go for it. And it's really, really good. I love that people now have like drinks ready for the stream for the hydration reminders um because I fit Nina I think you made that a thing <laughs> and I love that I also just um chomped a mini roll whilst I was waiting for things to load up um oh it says mint condition but, well I mean not so much anymore it's eaten but it's a uh, you don't know what a mini roll is it's a like chocolate like swiss roll type cake coated in chocolate and then the filling for this one it was mint so it was mint chocolate very delicious i always feel like i need to share my like pre-stream snacks if i have them <laughs> you got tea in the nightmare before christmas mug too i love it i love the cardigan why thank you is that is a disney is a disney jumper um although i think it was from primark <laughs> legend fan hello you used to have a TARDIS mug that was also square. Yeah, I just like, I think I get like worried. One thing about like mugs is I get worried about like uh, mugs and plates, anything with like corners, I get worried about like breaking them. But I mean, to be fair, I'm not, I'm not the dish doer here. Um, and Michael does a great job at not breaking stuff. <laughs> you do have skull and cauldron mugs. I've got, um, I do have skull ones as well for like, We've got matching, like, just the head of Jack Skellington wearing, like, a Christmas hat. Very, very cute. Um, both th this and the skull mugs came from um, my sister-in-law, Michael's sister. We all love Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Actually, they introduced me to that film. I hadn't seen that film before, um, sort of a couple of years ago. Your TARDIS mug broke? Oh, no. Say, say hello, also. Cheap per... What? Wait, hang on. Cheap pre-ground coffee. Oh, I just got, um... This is instant coffee, I think. If I've guessed correctly. But I love instant coffee. So it's all good. I like coffee in many different forms, as long as it doesn't taste like cardboard, which this does not. Kaylee, hello! Hello, hello! I have 27 skulls in my room along. Hey, cohesive theming. I like it. Anyway, um... Oh. That's so funny, winter festival music. <laughs> Hang on, I feel like I need to turn the music up a touch. It doesn't really fit, we're in a fall in the game as well. You got it on VHS, oh my goodness. Oh, I remember the VHS days. Oh, good grief, those were the days. The TVs were them built in as well, like the big giant TVs. Robbie Roo, hello, needed the stream tonight. Well, hello, hello, welcome, I hope you have a good time here. You revitalize your mugs as plant pots. I love that. I love that idea. Hi, Herbert. Hello. How you doing? I I'm good today. I've um been playing some die block and such. Um, but mostly editing when I could pull my pull myself away from it, which to be fair, I've actually done pretty well today. <laughs> um, I'm editing in the voiceover to the next hundred days video, so I. <laughs> Um, getting there on this video. This, for some reason, right, this video is the worst I've ever done with. Basically, when I script, I also like cut out the footage as I go whilst I'm scripting. And I kind of say what I'm saying in my head. 
but I always overshoot it a little for the most part so that I can just like it's easier to snip a bit off the end of the clip than to have to re-add parts of a clip however this time is the worst job I've ever done at overshooting the amount of time so it's taken me a bit to try and figure out what exact part of the footage I was supposed to keep but also I say things in my head believe it or not believe it or not I say things in my head slower than I do in real life <laughs> You still have that TV for your old PS2? Oh, I love that. I love that. Do I enjoy editing or is it a chore? Um, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it very much. I mean, honestly, um, Michael helps me with editing as well, but only for like, not the 100 days videos, for like, all the other videos. Michael helps me edit those. Not because I hate editing, but literally because I need more time. <laughs> so. The Land Before Time? Haven't seen that. I've not seen that. Finally done with meetings for the day. Oh my god, I'm glad. I'm glad. You get to keep an eye on Rapidax. Well, speaking of Rapidax, why don't we get started? Because I already started late as is. Um, so it's looking like from my inventory here. Nope, not the, not the relationships tab. I... I guess we went mining. Uh, wasn't it like Skull Caverns or something? What are you doing? You found something on the ground. I swear dogs find things that just aren't there on the ground to eat. Anyway, let's have a look what we've got going on outside. We've got loads of forage. Let me zoom back in. The Tom and Let's Play is so brave with the mic. I am really enjoying the Tom and Let's Play. Wait, let me put everything away. Um, what am I going to do with this coin situation? I need to figure out what the use are. Oh, I need to ship them as well. Interesting. Interesting. So anything... Oh, I need to bring my ores up to the mines. We also got a hawk feather. Let's deal with our inventory first before we do anything else. The other show. Oh, it's, it's, is it dinosaur related? Okay, I love that. Oh no, it's also a good luck day now. Why do I keep... Stop putting the blackberries away. <laughs> I need them. They're mine. They're mine. Get out of there boy just felt something on my foot and it kind of made me jump <laughs> what else do we have another artifact the gold coins are stupid oh okay well maybe i just shift the one i need i'll ship the one of each i need of those and um let's get our forage oh their cases i don't need to carry those what am I going to do with all these feathers? I think I've got a chest for them, right? I actually came to this chest to put this stuff away. Okay. You're dreading your mod update? Um, I... I'm glad I've copied out the... Like, Stardew folder. <laughs> at least. Ah, oh, there we go. Feathers. So at least I've got like 1.5 files ready to go. Should I bring those to the museum today? Probably not. Not today. I think I'm going to save. I've also got that like really good fruit. I think I'm going to save. Oh, the music now really loud. I feel like it's kind of loud. Just like a tiny bit. Anyway, let me know what you think. Because obviously what you hear and what I hear are two different things. That was weird. My whole game just like lagged for a second. I hope I didn't have too much like... I hope it wasn't my whole PC lagging and doing that thing, because that's also very jarring. It was a little loud, yeah. It looked like it. Louder than usual, but not uncomfortably so. It's loud in my ears. Not like... I mean, obviously not definitely loud. I wouldn't cope very well with that. Maybe something like that will do. Oh, 
You got the automate mod? You were sad when it doesn't work with Rapidax machines? Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe that's fine, because it will still work with the vanilla ones. If that makes sense. So, like, at least we can partially automate stuff. Okay, bear with me for just one second, please. Okay. Oh, is there like a dependency to make the automate thing work? Well, I'll have to think about that later. I'm not even close to unlocking automate yet. <laughs> right, can we make forage seeds yet? What am I doing? I'm checking all the wrong tabs. Um, crafting. <laughs> That's what I need. And I've shipped all of these. Yes, I have. Let's turn them all into seeds. Nick, hello! How you doing? I'm glad you can also join today. Object shows? What are object shows? Oh, the fair! Oh, ooh, we should probably go to that. Um, we've got time. Let's, <laughs> let's, um, let's plant stuff and then we'll do the fair. I completely forgot about the fair! Battle for Dream Island, no. I um I'm not familiar. But then again, I don't really watch like normal TV. I don't have I don't think our TV is even tuned. <laughs> I do have a sea chest, don't I? I've forgotten what everything is. There. Okay, cool. So all these ores I'm just gonna dump at the bottom of my hot bar for now to remind me that I've got to go to the mines and do something with them. Oh, it's on YouTube. Okay, maybe I'll have a look. I love recommendations for shows. You're not a big fan unless it's like on demand. Yeah, I'm the same. Now I'm hoping I have some good gold quality stuff that I can take. Fairy rose for a flower. Melon for a fruit. Um, do I want to take a bok choy though? I mean, it's better than the, in value anyway, than the, um, other thing I was looking at. Forageable wise. I wonder if the feathers count. Like, I wonder if any non-vanilla stuff is good for this. Maybe I'll, oh, is this mushroom worse though? Because if not, we could just go with the old trusty gold purple mushroom. I often use subtitles too. I find it so much easier. Right, crab pot stuff I'm not really that fussed about. Let's have a look at actual fish fish. I do have an iridium quality rainbow trout, but would... I'm overthinking. I know I'm overthinking this. Gold sturgeon. We can always trust the gold sturgeon. <laughs> you got loops? Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. They, they help so much, don't they? I love them. We'll bring a diamond. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I forgot what the other categories are. Cooked dishes. Probably the spicy eel. Unless I have something better. No, not really. Uh, actually, lucky lunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's everything, right? Uh, are we going to be okay? Have I forgotten a category? Artisan goods. Arches and goods. Hang on. I think I have... I'm hoping I've got some jelly spare. We'll bring that instead of the spicy eel. 
isn't animal products one as well i think animal products is one let me go see if if we've got any eggs from the chickens yet i don't think we do we only just got them but we can ask the chickens are you grown yeah you're they're, they're grown up that's a good sign that's a good start we have some eggs but they're not very good um maybe i won't use these <laughs> now do i have yes i do have the home cook bundle don't i okay am i gonna be late okay we better just run let's just run milky way hello welcome in oh my god i love your name your name is well i know the milky way is also like you know this is gonna sound dumb but my brain has forgotten the words other than space related uh it's also the name of my favorite chocolate bar <laughs> but the uk version very be very clear the uk version I recently got there was a whole bunch of videos oh i haven't so first of all i haven't completely abandoned the uh the vlog channel i just um i haven't had the time because it's kind of like a hobby more than anything and one of the videos i did want to do there was a review on the loop switches um because they were reasonably new at the time oh i'm gonna have to put it in there because i didn't bring enough stuff well don't let me down egg go and um go and go and do the judging i'm ready i'm ready it is different i can't remember what the difference was we've definitely talked about this before at some point in the stream but like i can't remember what the difference was i just know it's different Chocolate Milky Way stars. Oh my god. Yes, magic stars are the one. That it, it would be like Milky Way, the chocolate bar. And then magic stars, number two. Oh, I need some magic stars now. I haven't had them in a while. Third place Milky Bar. Uh, I think they're joined with Milky Way. They all have Milky in the name. Interesting. Milky Bar things are white chocolate, which I know, technically not chocolate, but delicious. Very delicious. Soft sweet nugget covered in chocolate. Yes. It's very like light and cloudy. I have a I have the knockoff in the cupboard. Maybe I should show it. Maybe I should go. Should I go get a <laughs> I've got the Tesco version of it and it's called Cosmic Whip. And I don't know. Should I should I just go and grab one to show you what I mean? Why am I checking the trash? You can't do that here. It's just like a part of my being. snack cupboard review i've got so there's so much in there at the moment i recently um we recently stocked up on snacks however i have eaten some i mean like the tesco ones do slap though they're, they're just as good my favorite snack is in trying new ones i there are snacks that i do want to try hey 100 i'll take it give me that now let's do this thing i'm i always do terribly at it is it orange or green? I can't remember. Oh no. I'll let you guys tell me. US Milky Way is called Mars everywhere else. Okay, so it's... Yeah. That's the difference. It's green. Thank you. I can never remember. And then half of what you have. Come on, do me well today. I have such bad luck with this. This happens every time. I lose... About 90% of my first spins. <laughs> the next time, pretty certain that I should get a green. It's meant to be the way it works, I understand. There we go. I never used to rely on this, believe it or not. I also, um, <clears throat> I used to top up my tokens with a fishing mini game because I just never had any good luck with this
Shake blend sweets and biscuits along with whatever fruits into milkshakes. Milky Way and white chocolate is such a nice combination. Oh, yes. So, um, the chain that I'm used to for that is called Shake Away, uh, which pretty much does the same thing. Um, but what my favourite combination from there is um, Milky Bar and Biscoff, so white chocolate and Biscoff. Star drop time! I can't even remember what we put here, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, I put Stardew, right? You found a star drop. You feel an unwavering connection to the valley itself. Your maximum energy level has increased. Mint Arrow Biscoff is your favourite. Ooh, I can't imagine mixing mint with it. I need to try that at some point. I haven't had a milkshake in so long, though. Like a proper one. Rare Crow. Should have done that first. Time to gamble ourselves a rare crow. Packies? I've never heard of that. This guy is so good. I got a jar of the spread the other day because I was really craving it. Biscoff on toast is incredible. Everyone wanting milkshakes now. Oh, but imagine stirring some into a coffee though. Like a Biscoff latte. It probably exists somewhere. You had a Biscoff milkshake a year ago and it was so sweet it made you ill. I imagine though that that was from like the ice cream and stuff. Rather than the... Biscoff. Because Biscoff's sweet, but I feel like it's not that sweet. But I can totally get, like, the association of the flavour. Um, I'll just do that. Did I see the patch notes about fixing the harvest faster from side to side and also the melee attacks? No! I did not. These always- oh, 555. Five, five. These always seem to time like right when I'm gonna stream and I like never see them. But that's amazing news. Was Shuri being mischievous? Yes. Well, <laughs> it's baffling when it comes to dogs because like you vacuum daily and yet they still find something mysterious to eat on the ground and I can't keep like obviously monitoring what he has found whilst I'm streaming so he's um he's now chilling with Michael in the other room he should chill out though soon they are furry toddlers there's the rare pro okay let's get out of here oh wait there's some people to talk to up here right the same brand sells some kind of biscuit thing that's the chocolate rice puffs water water oh wait do you mean wafer Water covered in chocolate. Oh, burger. We're having a burger now. You know the feeling you have four labs? <laughs> labs are known as, like, furry vacuums, though, aren't they? Wafer. Thought so. Thought so. That sounds delicious. You used to have a land whale? What would be a land whale? Dogs are the best. Um, right, I said I didn't think I wanted my crop area to be up here pretty soon, so I will check that in there. Do we even have a- I don't think we even have a mayo machine yet. I should probably make that. So I need wood, stone, copper, and earth crystal, I believe. Boop. One will do. Stick it with those. Slap that in there. Just the one though, because I need these for the home cooks bundle. I've also not shipped those, so I'll do that too. Lemon, hello! How you doing? Uh, should I ship these today? No. Yes. Yes, because what if they soon start laying higher quality ones and then I will be a bit stuck, wouldn't I? Okay.
Enjoy your challenge of luck. Where's my hurt? Oh, found it. Right, before we go to bed, I just want to go through and find any artifacts because I think we've got several in here that I need to donate. Looking for Gunther's face. I think we're good. Just these three. You procrastinated on work, so now you're trying to catch up? Oh no. At least, I suppose, like, the good thing is you had the flexibility to do it. Now, the brand is called Phaser. I'm gonna have to look it up. The blue chicken. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're, um... I'm not glad that it's been taunting you. I'm glad that you're crocheting one. <laughs> Made that clear. Oh, level 9 foraging. I didn't even notice the level up. Land whale is a Labrador. <laughs> oh my god. That's adorable. Five and a half grand. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> it was... <laughs> um, Lemon, it was where... So I was naming the animals after channel members. And Nina became a pig. And so... <laughs> you said something about her being a pig. I can't remember the exact detail. But that was how it happened. Hello, welcome in. <gasps> Look at the mayo jar, it's different. Look at you. Looks so spreadable. I do love me some mayo. Nina's a pig. No, it was exactly that. It was exactly that. Nina's a pig person. <laughs> that was the exact thing you said. Like, word for word. Hey, we love a person that knows himself well. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts won and then you regretted it for a short moment. It was really funny. Oh, you couldn't give me the gold egg yesterday. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Right. Good luck today. Also, still haven't installed um, fast animation, so old-fashioned animation cancelling it is, which I did forget to turn on. It was so funny. You are nothing if not consistent. <laughs> you zoned out and zoned in. Zoned back in. Everyone calling Nina a pig. Oh my god, the whip. <laughs> yeah, we're... um. A nice, loving, wholesome community. What can I say? <laughs> Where are my mushrooms? I also need my blackberries. Right, I I need to look at the um, I need to look at the settings briefly for the better chess mod because this is driving me bonkers. I wanted to see if I can look. If it can stop like taking the different qualities. Dash to existing stack. I want that. Is that a thing? Does anyone know? Basically, stop taking away blackberries. Oh, wait, I can lock items, right? Wait, hang on. Can I like lock them or something? I can't remember what the button is. Yes. Is that locked? That's locked. All right, stop taking my blackberries. I mean, I'll put them there, but there we go. So now it shouldn't... It still did it. Still did it. I disagree. You can change it something to do with the quality. Yeah, I just couldn't figure it out. I know that there's... You can lock it, though. So I, I would have thought... It locks the slot, not the item. Well, rip. Never mind, never mind. I tried I tried to be smart there for a brief moment. It didn't work out too well. Yeah, so I was trying to figure out if like what the setting list is too long for my brain to read. Um 
and so I couldn't figure out immediately how to change the setting to say stop taking the stuff I mean like I'm not gonna lie in most situations actually it's um really really useful I just don't want to have to keep fishing my blackberries out the chest every time what I do want to do is see if there's any fun fruit in here and there is mod customization is like staring into a void it's it's good for people who like read easy but I miss stuff and so I don't want to have to read through the list five times and like waste ages staring at the screen <laughs> puzzle's complete oh my god can't wait to see it I will um have a look at it after the stream I saw another orange I'm gonna go get it so many oranges like so many oranges oh and I need to go take my oars up to the mines <laughs> puzzle reveal yes get some food let me know what you get ability to customize things good too much customization overwhelming yeah very much so i always appreciate uh like mod menus that have like an advanced tab <clears throat> i'm losing my voice a lot today because i ate that mini roll well we're just gonna have to live with taking stuff out of a chest let's go up to the mines wait okay i just wanted to check i had the mine carts because that would have been painful You have your thing tomorrow, don't you? Oh, I hope it's something easy to solve, honestly. It's difficult not to, though, I will say. Like, whenever I've had new ones, it's so hard not to touch them. Right, what have we got smelting in here? So, I think I really want to... I've got 13 grand. That's a steel pickaxe. I need gold. Gold I can afford now, can't I? And I, I think I have some more gold bars at home, so I can do that for sure. So let's do some iridium. Because it'll be that next afterwards. Um, Take those home with me. You're hoping she just chucks a bigger earring in to let the irritation go down? If there's anything like, um... Sort in the helix, then hopefully that'll be alright. Chests are just hungry. <laughs> they are so hungry. Oh, I took the iridium all with me, that's so annoying. Okay, whatever. I'll fix it later. I just want to go and get this in at the moment. It's also hard because some of it's like so subconscious and you don't realise half the time. Take me pickaxe please. The only time I've ever had issue with um, piercings is because there was one time I got some done and I'm trying to think how many were done at the same time but it was too many. Only one of them was a cartilage one but the rest were lobe ones. I think it was three lobe and a cartilage. This is Garthy Galleon from Junimo Cart. Also she, um, the person who did my piercing numbed it with free spray which i understand now you should not do <clears throat> and um as a result may it got a bit freezer burned in the process which you know happened <laughs> you don't realize it's too late yeah exactly that's the problem i do want more done it's just that like i wear 
um, earphones and stuff a lot, so I worry about it. Like, healing. Terrifying song, you've never heard it before. It's kind of scary, isn't it? I mean, it is for a very scary level. <gasps> Mushroom. Is it a very big puzzle that you've done, May? Have to go have a great day. Lavender Cowboy, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you hanging out. Right, rest of this day, what do I need to do? I've got this much wood and stuff. Where am I on the farming level? I'm level 8, so we can actually start making some kegs. That will always be a good shout. Is this just wood iron? And no, it's oak resin. Oak resin of which I only have four. My tree farm? Oh, I think I need to make tappers. Hang on. Let's walk up there and have a look. These three haven't gotten infected. Is yeah, no. <laughs> but it's one of those things that like, it's just it ended up just being irritation, didn't it? And not like full on infecty. Um, you know what? Let's make. We'll make like three kegs, just so we have some kegs, and the rest will do tappers. For like the copper. So copper is another thing we desperately need. We still have some trees not grown, but that's okay. I can't fully see some of these trees, but that's fine. I'll live. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think so. Never get a gun piercing? Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Now, I don't know how much of these I need, so I'll just do this. I mean, I kind of want to save these for oak trees, but I don't have them at the moment, so I guess I might as well make use of the tappers in the meantime. That makes sense, taking them out because of sensory issues. Claire's is an awful place to get piercings. Yeah, that's what the first place I got my piercings was Claire's, my first ever low piercings when I was literally like seven. <laughs> But obviously, back then, a lot of us didn't know any different, so it was just kind of what most people did. Um, since then, I went to actual pierces, but even then, some of them are not always not always okay. What am I doing? Putting this away. And then kegs. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I completely- my brain just completely shut off there. Place for kegs. Oh, I do have an oil maker. I think I needed that for something recently, but I don't remember what it was. Well... <laughs> They risk putting them up there, probably. I'll probably forget that I've got them. Um, I don't want to make blueberry wine. Actually, do we have the brewer's bundle? We do. Okay, so I need a wine, a pale ale, a green tea, and a juice, and a mead. Or four or five of those things, and some of those things are quicker than others. Did I grow any tea saplings? I don't think I did. I need to go get some tea from Caroline at some point. I should have hop uh, pale ale, though. I mean hops for pale ale. And I have stuff for juice too. What am I doing? This chest. No, this chest. 
So let's do Pale Ale and what have I not shipped? I've not shipped an eggplant. Why? Um, what was I doing again? Juice. <laughs> ah, brain, please cooperate. We don't want something too expensive because it's going to be donated. Right. That's in there. That's in there. And that's in there. So we got one of each of three of the things. grandmother's friend did her ears with a needle and lemon juice but it was better result than claire's hey i mean it's not gun <laughs> right i think that's good for the day let's get some sleep a lot of the stuff we're waiting on is like crops they start doing nose piercings with piercing guns oh no 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 i can't possibly imagine like being trained to do that and being okay with it. Coastal, hello! How you been? Oh, it's Marnie's birthday today. We'll give her a diamond, probably. Oh, we have crops. Hello. How do you do crops? Oh no, I picked the corn. I didn't mean to do that. I need oh no, wait, there is some ready. Never mind, ignore me. That's the thing with cartilage piercings, they lull you into a false sense of security and you think they're done and they're not. Um, I do want to sell some of these things. I just don't know which ones. I'm just going to fill spots at this point with forage, I think. Oh, I missed a cranberry. There we go. I think I've got a lot of uh, gold ones already. Let's have a look. Two. Nope, I'll just keep the gold. Now, cranberries are better than blueberries, so I'll probably go ahead and keep some. Do I need this much baby corn? Let's have a look. Not for specific things, so I guess I can sell some. However, I don't think everything's shown in here, is it? Sell the gold ones, why not? It'll definitely be longer than a year, because it's three at once. I guess that's the, ch the challenge, isn't it? It's like being patient and waiting for, uh, you know, enough time between them to get them all done, but then... You could just get multiple done at the same time, but then they take longer to heal, so you can't even get, like, next ones as fast. Oh, I forgot to take my stuff out of the range display. I should probably go do that. I'll go and retrieve the diamond for Marnie from there. I also haven't checked the request board this week, either. Fizzle on toast! Yes, I love this. I love this. Hello, welcome in! I finally got a stream! Oh my god, welcome. Well, stream again. Welcome welcome back. What's the current stardew aim? Um, a lot of what we're doing at the moment is mainly waiting on crops. I do wanna I'm waiting also for a pickaxe upgrade, so hopefully that we can um feel a little bit better in Skull Caverns. We've got lots of things we're waiting for at the moment. Robin's resource rush, a thousand wood. Or do I do fragments of the past? Hmm. I will do Robin's resource rush because it gives them a bit more time to regrow before winter. Now, I want my stuff. Thank you. And now we'll go visit Marnie. So 
So are they make um does concern don't make them as fast as the fastest one? With this with the harvest speed direction and stuff? I hope so. I mean either way, as long as it's even, right? No, oh, I forgot you're in here. Oh, when does money leave? Maybe I can go put my stuff away at home and then come back. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're less than a week away now. That means I've got less than a week to finish my video, which is fine. I can totally do that. <laughs> uh, Lemon, it's on the 19th. I was somewhat debating streaming it as well. Because I think, so I think the, oh, I've done it again. I think ultimately it's been kind of decided that the format will end up being a 100 days of video. But maybe on the first day I stream. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because at the same time, I think a lot of people are going to be doing it. Well, my entire thing just freaked out. I don't know what just happened there. She's at the clinic today. I have to see what, figure out what time she leaves. Is she still at home yet? Is she leaving yet? I'm just gonna go and stare at her for a while, which not in a creepy way, just in a, I'm waiting for your birthday gift so I can go about my day. You really enjoying the tower challenge? Thank you. I'm really enjoying it too. I'll go pet the chickens as well. She's already on her way. Okay, I'll just meet her there. Thank you. I always forget that she has a doctor's appointment on her birthday. I mean, surely you would have some control over that. I've just been like, maybe I don't want to go on my birthday. You'll be crying in mobile on the 19th. Hey, I mean, I don't think it's meant to follow too far behind. I'm sure he's... I'm, I'm sure I heard him say that, that console and the rest would follow not too far. So hopefully you won't have as long to wait as like 1.5. Money! Gift. Enjoy the diamond. How many hearts do I have? Need something? Well, yes, but like, you don't need to know what it is I need. I'm just going to go and get it myself. I'll help myself. What else would she be doing? Spending time with her man that's embarrassed to be seen with her? Yeah, you have a good point there. You have a very good point. Oh yeah, I think um, it said it didn't work in co-op, the Talman challenge. At least the mod page said that, so... Um, it, it might just be a thing that you either have to cope with <laughs> having to buy them to get, uh, separately because basically I think the way it works is if I don't send basically I do my main recording here but I do my fishing recording in there where I'm more comfortable did I talk about this last episode or is it the one that I've just recorded this week either way basically I have to take my whole mod folder over because there's a specific file in that mod folder that tells my game which tiles I've unlocked and I think it's local, like on just on your computer. So I don't think there's any way like in co-op for it to know on the other person. It was last episode. I lose track as to which ones I've done. Mayor of a town and less than 30 people, what do you mean he doesn't have the time? Yeah, exactly. Like, what does he spend all his time doing considering he lets half the town get, like, run down? Right? <laughs> I also meant to be cut cutting trees as I go along, but... <laughs> he has the gold statue to work... the secret statue to work on? Yes, however, he has commissioned Clint to do the statue, so he isn't even working on it. Why is he embarrassed because she's a single mum? I think she said she, uh, I think he said like something about the fact that he's in a position of power and she's a business owner. 
The fact that he just stands in the town square for hours, right? It was according to SVE. Oh, right, okay. I forget. Sometimes I forget what of these things are in vanilla and what of these things are not. It's just because of the way that, like, expanded blends some of the things in so well. To, like, things that are in the vanilla game that I just forget that they're not part of vanilla. And hey, there is that dialogue line with Robin thinking that Lewis uh, is visiting. So like, maybe there's more going on there. You were looking for the lost jazz in the woods scene in Vanilla for way too long. Oh no. See, at least with that one though, there's like, <clears throat> she's lost in a whole part of the forest that's like, not in vanilla. Does Robin have a line like that? Yeah, it's very rare. You walk into a shop, sometimes she'll say, Lu oh. <laughs> Which I think Marnie has the chance of having that line come up as well. Have I gotten the pants yet? Yeah, they're in my hotbar. I just need to give them back. But I'm busy at the moment. I don't particularly want to mess with these I don't want to store them in a chest until spring so let's be real Gus is the real man honestly he, he knows the town well he knows everyone's highs everyone's lows he feeds us all I should be able to knock out this thousand wood. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to do it today. Maybe I can. I just need to be quicker. I feel like Gus just wouldn't want the responsibility though. Vote for Robin, do you think? I suppose she could be good. I think it's also the fact that like the Lou oh like can we tr can we trust her after that if there's something going on there and like you know he has a Demetrius to think about. So you're gonna sleep watching this? Hey. Chill, chill out. I, ho I hope you have a good rest. Who doesn't go to the saloon just to see Gus, honestly? More sales for carpenters everywhere. Robin doesn't do the thing she could because Lewis is blackmailing her. I mean, entirely possible, right? Hello, welcome in. She'd be real slick about it too, talking down the builders and then casually mentioning her services. Oh no. Where did she get the auto collectors? They're rare drops from the skull cavern, so either she's importing them or goes mining on her evenings up. Oh, um. Marnie? Oh gosh, can you imagine? Maybe that's where she developed her love of diamonds. Auto grower, she's got jazz for that. <laughs> Four twenty-three video is the favorite so far. I think that was my first one, wasn't it? Ow. I'm pretty sure that was the first. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed that. 
That's wild. Can you believe as well that it's been two years of all the- well, it's, ten, it's more than two years now, but two years of this iteration of the- all the Stardew stuff and, you know. If we're sending children to the mines, all the skipping comes in handy. Yeah, she's got to get that endurance up for, like, running from monsters and, like, Maybe it helps that she's a small target in the mines for the monsters. Well, we got a lot of trees done today. Conspiracy in the valley. <laughs> I can do some more on the way home. Oh, probably should eat though. Uh, you know what? We'll do some more tomorrow. Let's not like risk exhausting ourselves. Is giving Victorian Britain. <laughs> I'm gonna do with this. Oh, I'm gonna ship it. That's what I'm gonna do. I will give the pants back at some point. You just imagine going to Skull Caverns one day and bumping into Jazz down there. What the heck are you doing down here? And then there's Sebastian like, oh no, it got scratched by a rock crab. <laughs> Jazz, speedy adventurer, totally constantly unscared. What are you doing on my doorstep? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Emma. I came by to ask you a favour, since you're such a kind neighbour. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favourite treat. Cave carrots. I think we should make a secret society as much. <laughs> Just all the conspiracies from today's stream. Integrate all the other ones as well. Oh my goodness. You have to do something to like earn their trust too. Ah, oh, thank you for the oh sheep milk and rennet, the cheese. I don't have a cheese press at the moment, but thank you. Thank you for the pearl broth recipe and Caroline wants a pumpkin. I can I can I can deal with that. Where am I gonna put it for now? I don't have a like an animal product chest, so let's make one. We've got plenty of wood now. <laughs> um I think I'm gonna put it I'll put it here. forage have i got one of these before i might have wow minus 62 energy but luck and speed are a bit rough just has to keep throwing away cave carrots for the auto grabbers that's why marnie has no cave carrots left her foraging runs have been unsuccessful thus far i know i had yeah i have had one of these so okay i'm gonna sell it Pet the puppy, of course. Oh, and my pickaxe should be ready today, yes. Yes, it is. I'm still with pants. Conspiracy in the Valley is the perfect mod title. Marnie's, Marnie's money laundering. Jazz is forced to work in the mines. The votes were rigged to make Lewis Mare instead of Gus. All of it, all of it. Do you love the background music? This, the, or the, the song that's just finished, was a track by Game Shops and Goffy Date who do like video game remixes. This is another Game Shops like track, and actually, may recommend me the Coffee Date uh, album. Large egg. I don't know if I need that. No, I've already got eggs. Mmm. Oh, nutmeg. Do I need this? No. No, I'm just F1ing stuff to make sure I don't I don't need it anymore. Home cooks an animal bundle. Okay, I'll get one for the animal bundle just to get that that one done. 
Have a good sleep, original. That would be such a cool mod. What if something already exists? I mean, it might not have the same plot line, but I wonder if something already exists somewhere. to the stream and now she's snoring oh that's so cute isn't time like going at a wild pace i feel like um i don't know if it's just me but any of the years in the like 2010s feels like it was like just maybe a couple of years ago and i'm even talking like the early 2010s there we go robin's resource rush all done Pirate shop on the even days, I believe. A study buddy! I love it, I love it. I hope the studying is going well. Oh, let's donate these as well. Uh, nothing else I can... Oh, I can donate that. Okay. Let's go. How's it already been an hour? I know, it's kind of flown today. 2014 was a decade ago. Yeah, it, it's kind of wild. What is that? that turd? It's a pecan. Okay. I feel like they don't look like that to me. Hi Clint. Thank you for the pickaxe. Appreciate. Every year is a smaller proportion of your life. We just had so much crazy stuff in such a short time frame. Yeah, it's, I mean like... It did kind of also feel like time stopped for a few years as well, didn't it? In a way. Ooh. Damn. I thought it was new. How hard? You wonder how hard it'll be to get into modding? No idea. Could not tell you. I do not know the first thing about modding games other than... I, well, yeah, I know nothing about coding. <laughs> oh no, the skeleton pieces, I don't want them. Alright, to the community centre. I feel like also when you become an adult, time is kind of like... Because like, huh, when you're a kid, it's like, okay, you have like... You're in this year or grade at school, followed by like, it's very like sequential. And then it's like, okay, you go from primary or like elementary school to like, I don't know, high school, secondary school, and then college, if you go to college and all that kind of stuff. So it's like very much like there is a path, but then you become an adult and it's all just like, whatever the heck is going on. <laughs> it's all just like, all mushed into one. Oh, I forgot to give Lewis the pants back. I'll do it in a minute. Twenty seventeen. Yeah, you just like forget that people are born after a certain age. <laughs> I don't know how to put that in a in a way that's it sounds any kind of normal. <laughs> People born in 2006 can drink. Oh gosh, yeah. Hey there, eyes up. All right, is Lewis even home right now? No. I just saw that. I saw his name. Oh, he's in Town Square. It wasn't like showing me properly. 
Ignore the stutter, my tabs are being weird. There we go. Um, pants. You found them? Where? Uh, listen, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, just give me the, give me the 750 gold and let me be on my way. Trying to be an adult is learning to be okay with certainty. Or at least having to go on the roller coaster of realizing you have no control over 90% of your life. Honestly. Just don't really know what's coming at any point. College feels so strange by comparison to high school, at least in the US. Yeah, it does here too. Well, like, I feel like, I mean, at least for me, when I did sixth form, which is like the college before uni, it felt like a good transition because um, a lot of that, you're a lot more like self-responsible than, um, where would this go? You're a lot more kind of like responsible yourself for attending stuff and knowing stuff than uh like at school i mean you're still obviously like you still need to know where your classes are and attend them and stuff but it's a lot more free and you will have like some free periods in the day that you can decide how to spend your time so it's kind of a good transition, at least like the college that I went to, to then to uni. There's a Grobus for Mammoth. <laughs> Give them to him in Marnie's room on the one day of the year he sleeps over. That's actually really funny. That's really funny. Okay. What am I doing today? It's Friday and I've got a whole bunch of quests, so let's do that. Here's prime produce. I need to drop off 25 gold star vegetables. Okay, do I have some? I need to start saving them because I kind of haven't been. Bok choy. I've got more planted. I just haven't been saving them, which... Oh, no, there's 10 corn. Hmm. Baby corn, does that count? Yes. 10, 20. That's a flower. Gold jalapeno. So I've got 22 so far. I guess we have to wait. Wait, are there any in here? 23? 24? There are some gold star vegetables I don't really want to part with, but I don't... I don't have any more. I've got 24, that's so sad. Oh no, wait. 25. Let's go. I want to clean out my journal a bit today. You just drop salmon fillet on the side three times before getting on your plate <laughs> and you dropped it on your phone oh no salmon everywhere right i will drop these vegetables off and then i'm gonna have to brb for a quick little bathroom break i will not be long
I am back. By him, it sounds like you're up to something. And I like it. Okay, let's continue. What have we got? So we've got Caroline, a pumpkin for Caroline, an emerald for the wizard, cave carrot for Marnie, largemouth bass for Jody. Let's see if we can get all of these things in. In interesting theory. There's so many theories going on. Lewis loves blueberries, but doesn't have a single blueberry bush. This is very true. Maybe he's just not capable of growing such a delicious crop. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, in in Stardew, I don't like blueberries that much, but in real life, I love blueberries. <laughs> so, emerald for wow, we have a lot of emeralds. I'm gonna sell some. <laughs> Emerald for the wizard. Um, a large mouth bass for Jody. Cave carrot for Marnie. And pumpkin for Caroline. Do not ask me how I remembered all those because I don't really know. We've done it though. We'll go to the wizard last because I don't have to worry about him so much time wise. No room muffins! Yes. You love blueberry muffins, so you're excited to try actual blueberries. Gross, vile. I will say, blueberries are one of those fruits that can vary a lot, if that makes sense. So, like, you might have just had a bad one or some bad ones. Caroline, Mar okay. Caroline's at the library. Like, I've experienced bad blueberries, but, like, there's also different... You know how, like, there's different varieties of a lot of vegetables, but blueberries are, like, they differ, like, wildly. You really don't like the teddy bear, huh? Wait, no, come back, I need the... <laughs> Stop it. Ignore the teddy bear, I'm trying to... I just wanted to give you the pumpkin. Right, one down. If you just like something, you struggle to try it again. That's understandable, though. What do bad blueberries like taste uh, compared to good ones? Um, so bad ones are like sour. They have this really strange, like, for lack of a better word, I've had ones that taste like literal, you know, the like smell of trash. I've had ones that taste like that. Um, oh, I need to go to the shop with it. I forgot. Oh, well, <laughs> damage is done. But, but good ones are very like sweet. I forgot, I completely forgot, because I'm talking about blueberries. <laughs> I personally like, um, there's a, there's a variety of blueberry that's like really, like they produce really large berries and I really like them. They're my favorite. But I am the kind of person when it comes to fruit um, especially things like berries, I will literally sit there and inspect every single one. Like, even after I wash them, I'll literally sit there and, like, check every single one before I eat them, because sometimes you just don't notice something. You had ones that weren't sweet or weren't sour. I have also had ones that just, like, taste like plants. <laughs> ah, the item I requested. Thank you very much for the 750 gold. Marshy blueberries, ew. I will say though, I don't know how they achieve... Is it just me or when it comes to fruit that's like in stuff? So blueberries being a really good example. They taste significantly different when it's in like a blueberry muffin to like actual blueberry, like eaten fresh. And another one that's like that is cherries. So like I don't like the fresh fruit cherries. I also don't like those like Glacé cherries, I think they're called. I don't know. You know the ones that are like, you get on top of cakes or sundaes and stuff. That sprint. Come in, do I smell fresh fish? What is with everyone's noses here? Mushy blueberries are overripe, yeah. There's a fine balance with a lot of fruit between like perfect and overripe. What buggle creature is hiding in this crevice? Oh my god, raspberries, yes. 
You have to not look at them or eat them covered in yogurt. But do you not worry about- No, I won't ruin them for you. <laughs> I, won't I won't ruin them for you. Never look up how they're made. I need to know now. You told me not to- now, my now I'm curious. Um, but there's a type of cherries that they like make that they put- Not like the glacé cherries, but like- I think they're morello cherries. Um, that they're like, I guess, cooked in a syrup or something, and that those are delicious. Hence the yogurt. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I almost, I, I didn't want to fully, but I would worry. That, yeah, I, I don't know, they're like, they just taste nice. And I like cherry flavoured things. I just don't like actual cherries. Oh my god, word searches. I love a good word search. They're in syrup until most of the substance is replaced with sugar. Oh, good grief. I think the re the thing that made me like the idea of some types of cherries is my secondary school used to do this really delicious chocolate cherry cake, and that was really good. Um, animal products. You had it with grapes once? Oh, you found a- no, you found a web I could never. Nope. I'm really particular, like, when it comes to things like fruit, in particular fruit, if I ever order groceries online, I can never order fruit, because I'm particular. Always wash your fruits, absolutely. Grapes, though. Have you ever had candy floss grapes? Because, oh my god. Those are, like, so good. Lots of the time, cherry flavour tastes like medicine. Uh, I can see that. I guess it doesn't help that there are several medicines out there that I've seen that use cherry as a flavour. So that does not help. Best neighbor. Oh, so much mail. <gasps> Beer. Wait, is that? Damn, I thought that was for the bundle. Unless I've already donated that. Either way, I'm gonna ship it. Grapes. I'm hoping I get the like byproduct at some point because I just realized how late into the season I think they grew. I still haven't got whatever was supposed to drop for it yet. You thought it was a gimmick and then was surprised about how much they actually taste like them. I know. They're like magic. They're delicious. The bake's pretty rude, think all the water comes out, then it's basically flavour and sugar, so it's a lot more intense. And the mild tart in the blueberry also bakes out. Makes sense. Oh, you went to baking school. I love that. I love that. I want to learn to bake more. I've been meaning to do more. I want to get this video finished so I can do some baking in between now and 1.6. I just don't know what to bake next. There's so much choice, so I'm overwhelmed. We're getting all these bad luck days when I'm like actually wanting to go to Skull Caverns. Oh, I need to go do the fish pond because I left that on my list as something I wanted to do pretty urgently. Can't remember why. But we're going to do it. <laughs> the meat vegetables taste like candy floss. I have no trouble with them. Actually, I had some carrots and hummus before the stream today. Oh, scones. I've never made them before. How do I like the farm? I adore it. Miss Marzi, how you doing? Good to see you. Five. I need one more egg. One more egg. Um. So I need stone. And then... Seaweed and algae. That's too many. Alright, let's go. But anything with hummus and you'll eat it, you love hummus so much. I've only just, I say only just, it's actually been a few years that I've started liking it now, but it has to be red pepper hummus. I don't like plain hummus. Cooking everything from Stardew recipes, okay, that would be incredible. 
I don't think I'd do very well at it. I know it's been done before. I don't know if they've done every recipe, but I know someone's done Stardew recipes. I did really badly with the strange buns. There's a, there's a video of strange buns on this channel. I do want the cookbook. <laughs> Tea stained eggs. Not my thing. You need to learn to make hummus. Isn't it? It's pretty easy, isn't it? Once you have the ingredients and machinery. <laughs> the appliances, I do not. Right, I hope I've got space for this because I didn't think about this until I got here. Um, for now, I guess I'm just going to slap it down here and we'll move it. Yeah, this farm when you're saving, you love it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. The house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I used to make also, um, like a dip for vegetables that I used to... What did I make out of? Like, tahini, maple syrup... A bit of soy sauce. I think it was just basically those three ingredients and it was very, very good. The pink cake looks like it would taste good. Oh yeah. But then they use melon as the ingredient. I can't imagine getting a really good melon flavour in a cake. Is that just me? Soy sauce, eggs for void mayo? Oh. Charcoal into mayo. Do you have to get the look for charcoal and mayo? The only thing that concerns me are the red dots in it. What is that from? I mean, I guess you could put like big chili flakes in it. Why am I walking? Too late now, I've gone too far. Yeah, I feel like it would be really hard to achieve without like getting a very highly concentrated melon flavour situation. What I do like is, um, even though I'm sure it's somewhat artificial, you know the like strawberry flavoured cakes? I really like that. That's very much my kind of thing. Oh, that's new. Okay. Right, I really want to know. I need to meet these other NPCs at some point. I just haven't found where to do that. Scripting time. You've got this, Levin. You've got this. You can do it. Is there anywhere I haven't been that I should be checking? Because I can't think. Watermelon honeydew and cantaloupe so it's not one single flavour. I do not like cantaloupe. Not my kind of thing. Look at the way that the farm map is like such a different colour. Mayo with chili flakes? Yeah, I think that would work. Strawberry cake. Strawberry cake is just so good. Where am I not thinking of? Right, let's go to the Adventurers Guild next. Maybe the quarry is going to be one of the places. What do I need for that? Pantry is soon. Not really, but kind of. Craft room, winter foraging bundle. That's the bridge repair. So once we get that, that will help. What do I need for this? That's going to be a... Mm, I could do it this season. Chef's bundle? No. That's just friendship anyway. Okay, we'll probably aim for the... Um, the, what's it called? That fish bundle next. The Master Fisher bundle. Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I need the better rod. Why have I not got an Iridium rod? Hello? Willie's not even there today. I'll have to get it tomorrow. Okay, never mind, I guess. Let's go take this stuff up to the mines because I need to smelt it. And then we'll probably give it an early night because, um, there's not really any need to be awake. Wait, what's this cave entrance? Oh, it's just another random part of the farm. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. <gasps> what? 
What is this? A black walnut, a darker variety of the walnut with a bold earthy flavour. These walnuts are primarily used for making flavour extract. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Cool, new forage. Make sure you're not just the assassin secretly. Wait, that's not gonna go here. Um, I've got loads of stone up here, why? Mm. Should I go sell these? Yeah. Yeah. I think I shall. Let's do more copper, because I need it desperately. I just remembered this doesn't open until two, right? Yeah, okay, wonderful. Just what I wanted to hear. Might as well see if there was any forage on the ground. It's always fun finding something new on the ground, especially in this mod, because there's so much of it. <laughs> Just a different type of... like a, like a rabbit turd. <laughs> Clarify that I don't mean to be rude, it's just like... You know when you just see an image on your brain? Open the doors! Faster! Jazz can let you in. I was gonna say, can she reach the handle, but if she can um, handle the monsters, I'm sure she would manage just fine. They didn't leave little piles of the inedible part. Oh my god, adorable. Have a look. Come back when you got something to show me. Okay. Never mind. You have four of the trees outside your house. It was disgusting. Did you just have like loads of them? Just flowers of it everywhere? waiting for this copper to there's a mushroom i can't reach well i could with a chair scare but i'm not gonna do it it's just a mushroom it's only a mushroom can you even see it oh it's just a butt below my face okay i'm glad we got some more copper You had a spreadsheet for Neko Atsumi. I love that. Oh, I remember that game. I used to play it very briefly, but I had it for a short amount of time. All right. So I guess I could make more tappers, but I don't. Should I turn them into kegs for now, perhaps? Probably. Yes. I think that was a good decision. Let me just clean up the extra trees around here. I am excited to be able to just like reorganize things a little bit in winter. It just feels like there's no time in the other seasons. You're obsessed for years, but you lost your say. Okay, that's sad. How are we looking here on the oars? I mean, we do have a decent amount of most things. That's not too bad. It could be worse for sure. Wait, why is that iron stuff in here? And keeping things so badly organized. The ship is silver bar as well. And I'm gonna take my bait off the rod ready for tomorrow because I'm probably gonna go <clears throat> pretty much straight down there. Might have crops to harvest soon though. Which I'm very excited about.
Rapidax has some very rude spawning for forage. You saw some you didn't have and you're upset. That sucks when it's like in an unreachable place. Ew, the 5.30 wake up. Well, I hope you have a good sleep and I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. I appreciate you hanging out. Oh my god, birthdays and stuff. Right. Point of source. That's an easy one off the list. And then I need a gem and something else. A peach. Pumpkins! There we go. We've got another quality crop sorted out because we've already got four in the chest, I think. Look at them all. There's so many. <laughs> Look at all the squash flowers. Oh my god. Can't give Robin. No! I always time it so poorly. I have this happen so often when she's working on her birthday. This happens to me all the time. Sorry, Robin. I did not intend for you to be working on your birthday. Oh, how irritating. Well, Puck matters more anyway. So, let's have a look. I know that um, our forest friends love gems however i want to see if there's anything i've got that has a quality on it that i'm willing to part with and so far the answer is no maybe the thunder cap let me see if i've got a thunder cap spare hidden forage oh i've already got silver Silver's still better than nothing, as in like better than no quality at all. Um, right, let's keep this many pumpkins for random stuff. Keep a few of these for gifts. I still haven't shipped any pumpkins, so these will go. That's going in there. How many quality ones did I keep? Only five? There we go. I'm satisfied with my decision. Eggplants. I'm going to keep them for now. Oh, let's go get the jades for the desert too. They do like the coins, but I want to give something with a, with a quality. Oh, I've only got five more. That sucks. I probably should make more crystallarium soon, huh? Good pumpkin time. You'd prefer to work, really? I certainly would not. You like the solar panel placement? It's got an island of its own. <laughs> it's more relaxing than going to the doctor. Okay, yeah, maybe better than Marnie's birthday. <laughs> Oh, what's worse? I missed the what's worse question. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is worse. I suppose it depends on how much you hate your job. Which I would certainly rather be working. Merchant, got anything good for me? Um, Animal bundle. Yes, I'll have that. Need this? No. No, I do not. I don't need the battery either. Is that a secret path? I can get to the secret woods from my own farm! Okay, that's a thing. Now we know. Don't worry, I will save you from the slimes. First of all, happy birthday. I did remember your birthday. Do you have anything new for me? Alcohol makes an excellent offering. For well, the forest spirits, of course. Right, yes, of course. An orange carrot, wisteria. Sage, is that new? Winter seed. 
I can't remember what... What is new and what's not. It takes 28 days to mature and it's a winter thing. I'm gonna buy one of these. What does this do? Harvested in the spring. They're kind of expensive, so I'm not gonna buy these yet. But I will get the spruce one. Because we're almost in winter and it's only 400. <gasps> Combat level up. Do I have a need to kill the slimes here? No, but I'm doing it anyway, I guess. You can, you can, I will spare one. I'm here for the forage, really. Portrait looks like the fox all grown up from the fox and the hound. Oh my god, the fox and the hound. Strawberry sapling? Yeah, there's a strawberry sapling in this. We met them for the first time, yeah, quite a while back. Go to the beach from here. Every slime is closer to a thousand. You have a good point. You have a good point. Try the sewers. I don't think I have the key yet. Wait, do I? No. I can't yet. Unless there's a secret and I can get in there early, which I don't think I can yet. Maybe I should work on that next then. You're not sure if you like the vanilla crops as trees? I think they probably do give extra stuff. Even the vanilla crops often give extra stuff. Joe Dakota for Sandy? Right. We're gonna go to the beach first. Go get our rod. Actually, no, that can no, that can't wait, because I'm going to the desert to fish. Animal Crossing Remix is a banger. It's a it's another one from the Game Chops place site. Very, very good. They have a lot of good stuff on there, not even just um Pokemon and Stardew. I mean Animal Crossing and Stardew. They have lots and lots of others. A Joja Cola for a cow zone. <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe it's just for the sauce. Yeah, I bought that fishing rod. Imagine if there was a secret lockpicking skill. There is a lockpick mod. Um, I did struggle to get it to work. It's so unacceptable that you can't spell unacceptable. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, maybe maybe she just thinks it pairs well. Was there a new across the bridge? Probably, but I'm a bit on a time crunch today because I need to get to the desert. And I really want to catch a specific fish. Now, do we have any trap bobbers? Slash, can I make any? Like, maybe. So, we'll drop all of this off. Or at least what I can. Um, sapling, I'm just going to plop down here. What else do I need? Do I need the rod? That's an artifact that I don't need right now. Got the jades. I'm not going to take anything else to trade yet because I don't really need to. Oh, Omni Geodes. I want some desert totems. And then I need the Joja Cola. The Thief is one of your favourites. I'm, I'm glad. I did really enjoy making that one. Obviously. I really do want to do like a, a, a second version of that at some point. Right, I noticed the juice, but I'm, I'm more focused on trying to get out to the desert. Right. What do I need? Copper and sap. I've got that. Let's make a couple of them. And get to the desert. Oh, should I bring a flower as well? I probably should. And some food. Uh, 
blackberries and for Sandy. No, I hope everything's okay. Um, yeah, I appreciate that you could hang out for some amount of time, but I, I don't know what to say other than I hope everything's okay. My brain's trying to come up with the correct words and it's one of those horrible situations, you know? Well, we know it's all stressful. Uh, warp totems. Hope the recovery goes okay. So, you wanted a Jojo Cola? Here you go. I will take that. And then, that's for you also. We've got to bring something for the um, uh, Amanra up here. Maybe, maybe one of these forage pieces will be okay. Ten minutes and you're off work. Oh my god, that's soon. That's so soon. Are any of these items acceptable to you? Blackberry, cactus blossom, coconut, hawkweed. You can have a cactus blossom. Oh no wait, you can have a coconut. Here you go. The spirits happily accept your offering. Well, enjoy it. Let's do this. You thought I was bringing the Jojo Cola to the desert to drink to find out what it does because of the item in Terraria? <laughs> Yeah, we still haven't drunk one of those in Terraria yet. We will. We will. I have a few of them. I really should have brought fishing food with me. I kind of forgot to do that. We're only level 7 fishing. Oh no. This isn't going to go well. Your brain mashed the two games together? Understandable. I feel like a lot of people who... Uh, play Stardew, also play Terraria and vice versa. And I know it's obviously like not everyone, but I know quite a lot of people who play both. And now I'm also on that list. See a forage. Let me focus on the fish first. So much trash! Very rude. Wasting my, um... Wasting my fishing tackle for no reason. I'm gonna have to come back here like often until I get this damn fish, aren't I? Rimworld Terraria Stardew and Minecraft. Oh yeah, it's also Minecraft. Rimworld I've never played. I have heard... I don't actually know what it is, but I know... I've heard of a lot of people playing it. Let me catch this fish and then I will catch up with chat again. Just a sandfish, but just a slightly more annoying one. Terraria was called 2D Minecraft for so long that you thought it was a copy until you played it and realised what massive of a game it is. Yeah, there's so much in it. There is so much in it. Excuse me. It trash doesn't affect the tackle. Ah, okay. I did mean to read those footnotes, I just completely forgot. Also, reading is a struggle. For me. I probably wouldn't retain the information very well. Of 
I've got till seven, right? Is it seven or eight? I think it's seven. Usually fish changes at seven. <gasps> this might be it though. No, no, it's not. There's no way. That was too easy. For a minute, it had me there for a minute. It's eight? Okay, perfect. Even better. Come on, Scorpion Cup. Oh, maybe? No, no. No. Hey, fishing level up. I'll take that. 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. courtesy of the wiki. Thank you very much. working today for some reason the summoning of the fish algae apparently instead come on one more hour in the day after this right scorpion carp i'm specifically calling out for you uh 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 Oh, um, no, no. I, I'm, I'm sick of these sandfish pretending to be the scorpion cup. Oh, oh. I always see that first movement in the beginning and like, oh no. I think, I think she was dreaming. You might <laughs> Oh my God. Dog dreaming noises. Okay, he stopped. I don't know if any of that came through. At least I have lots of gifts of Penny now, this is very true. <laughs> found it! I think I found it! You shall be mine! Come home with me. You'll find a really good home. Um, I've got a really nice pond set up for you. Well, actually, it's being freshly built and it's like a brand new home and you're not going to be bothered by all these like sandfish and stuff. So like, I think you're going to prefer it there than this like scorching hot desert. I know you're not really sure, but I, I think you can trust me. I think we can be friends. We're going to be friends. It's going to be fine. I, I would love if you can um maybe like just, just chill out. It's going to be okay. Stop, stop fighting it. I know you really want to get out of this pond and that's why you're so like stressed out but like maybe you're having second thoughts but it's going to be okay I promise I promise you're going to be fine you're going to be just fine <laughs> oh my god we did it okay I totally lied about the fish pond you're going in a community center but it's okay it, it can't hear me when it's out of the water <laughs> we freaking did it okay hang on my hair's like gone everywhere. Everything's okay. We we've got the carp. We've got the carp and we're getting out of here. <laughs> hey, it's a very rude fish. Carp therapy session was successful. <laughs> we freaking did it. Okay, now it's the lava eel. Now the lava eel I feel like I'm gonna need food for. I'll see if I've got any at home. I think I actually might have some dish of the sea, which I probably should have taken. For the scorpion carp, but I do not. I think that'll work pretty well. Oh, I forgot to replant anything. Whoopsie! Actually, it doesn't matter because it's about to be winter and I'm going to redo everything anyway. Green bean juice. Oh, I need to get some... Uh, I need to get some tea leaves from Caroline tomorrow. Oh, I don't have any cactus flowers. That's new. Nice. What do my collections tab looks like? Um, I will have you know that you asked this question. And so here's the farming and forage tab. And artisan, sorry, the, the item shipped tab.
Okay, we found the end. There we go. That, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> have to finish up work and drive home. Might be able to catch the last of the stream. See you later. Have, have a safe trip home. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Um, there's also more dishes, but I think there's even more that aren't shown here yet, so. The rest of them are the same. Like, the, the fish the fish are the same. The artifacts are the same. Um, it, it's, most, it's mainly just the first one, and then it will be the cooking as well. Right, I'll bring this with me. Let's see if I've got that dish of the sea ready for... I'll do it tomorrow, I think. Dish of the sea, dish of the sea. There. You're halfway through the pickles. You've got this. Iridium sprinklers! Oh my god, perfect. And level 7 combat, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, level 8 fishing also. You really want someone to do a mod as a scroll bar for the shipping. Oh, that would be good for things like this. I feel like in most cases people don't need it as much, but Rapid actually do. <laughs> Let me just see the overwhelm visually. But it's kind of fun having the mystery of clicking through all the pages, isn't it? Um, so there is a there is an actual Excel tracker out there. Ooh, my general stocks rotate daily depending on who or what I encounter on my journey. Stop by frequently if you're looking for a specific rare item. If you like me to leave, if you would like to leave me offering, wait. If you would like me to leave offerings for you in the temple hidden beneath the sands, bring your gifts to me, and I will take them there before the sun rises. What? Stop by my shrine before whenever you visit the desert. Wait. If you would like to leave me offering, if you like me to leave offerings for you in the temple hidden beneath the sands. Bring your gifts to me, and I will take them there before the sun rises. What? So, I'm sure- Oh, hang on. I happen upon many strange things upon my travels through the forest. I have different items for sale almost daily. Be sure to check in often. I have more plants that I can sell to you which don't appear in my shop. But you have to gain favour with the forest spirits if you want me to sell them to you. If you bring me offerings, I'll take them to the temple hidden beneath the leaves before the sun rises. There's an- wait, what? Some of the plants in the forest are considered legendary to human. I'm so confused. Is an- what, what hidden temples? There are hidden temples- are there places I don't know about? Got two winter seeds though. So that's cool. More mail? I don't know if you notice the small selection of perfumes at my shop. I make them myself with a fragrance extractor. Since I believe you grow flowers on your farm, I'll send you the blueprint in case you want to make any yourself. If you place any that you make in your shipping crate, I'll have Pam pick them up and bring them out to add to my shop inventory. Sandy. Oh, Sa I didn't even notice that. I forgot to look at Sandy's shop. Henry, hello! Well, we got a fragrance extractor recipe. Ooh! Celtic breakfast tea. <gasps> tea leaf, luck extract. Wow. Luck extract. 50 luck! Primary really uses an arcane component when crafting luck potions. Hello? Wait, I need to reread that mail. I need to process what I've just read. Have you ever found a clover with four leaves? Such plants are supposed to be very lucky. If you make an extract with it in a juice keg and then infuse a black tea leaf in an oxidizer, you can make a special tea. Okay, so I need to I need to get the oxidizer. Oh my god, what's going on? I was communing with the nature spirits in the secret woods earlier, and one of the fey folk told me that they had made a connection with the new farmer. I'm sure that I do not need to tell you this, but the creature that has revealed itself to you is not a fox, but a fairy in disguise. Oh! A fairy in disguise. I do not believe him to be necessarily dangerous, but be aware that fairies are exceptionally tricky. That, fo that fox is particularly mischievous. Be wary of the things he tries to sell you. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll keep my eye on it. Thank you for the warning. Interesting. Interesting. We have a lot to think about. 
Um, I guess I'm gonna put these in here for now, for later. And um, I just wanna, I just wanna go to the mines, really. It's Oak Crescent Day. Um, I'll do it on the way back. Let's go to the mines first. Crafting is it's already complicated. Do I already have the oxidizer recipe? Fragrance extractor. I'll have to do that soon. Incubation tank. I don't want to think about that just yet. I want like, I want you one to like focus on crops and farm setup, and then we'll think about the rest of it later. How am I doing with crops and shipping? Uh, how am I doing with the shipping? I've got barely any of it. I have just run through all the um, shipping tabs. <laughs> There's not very much covered. Another entry for the secret societies. I love it. I love it. Let's also go to the request board as well. Right, the fish one's done. Actually, it's done done, so I should probably put something in it. We'll go with the sturgeon ready for the caviar. Get that ready to go. Off you go. Oh, corn. Can't forget the corn. In Irish folklore, you have to be polite and nice to them, but never tell them your full name or they'll have power over you. Okay, that's mildly terrifying. Not even mildly terrifying, like pretty darn terrifying. Obviously, I'm not going to not pick up all the forage on the way as well. That's why you have middle names. Wait, is that a thing? We have middle names so that... They don't hear your full name. You got 9 to 10 cutscenes and triggers on your list? Oh my god, I adore this. I adore this. Curious Substance or Midnight Carp? Well, I know which one I'm picking. I think we all knew how that was going to go. You want to hit 20 to 30? Oh my god, all the cutscenes. You shouldn't eat their foods or you'll be trapped. That's something you can live by. That's something you can get on board with. <laughs> Don't eat my foods either. Nah, I, I, I'm typically good with sharing food. Unless I'm like... I'm good with sharing food unless I like... Thought I had some certain food to eat and it's been eaten and then I'm upset. <laughs> you get trapped if they trick you or... Have your full name? Wait, I'm so confused. There's so much that I don't know. So fresh, hello! How are you doing? Have I ever played Call to the Lamb? I have. There is um a stream series, I believe. Uh, or like a VOD series. I played it. Actually, it's been updated a lot since I last played it, but I have played it. Thanking them can be perceived as acknowledging a debt. That's wild. That's so difficult as well because like you have to be polite to them but then if you're too polite that's also a problem oh this is a nightmare i would struggle i struggle <laughs> it's like trying to understand social cues but like on steroids they'll offer you food and you have to say no or say yes and not eat it. Which one is it though? They're two very different resp- <laughs> <laughs> It's just like that thing in real life where, like, that confusing thing where people offer you something and you're meant to say no out of being polite, but then some people get offended if you say no. So how do you know which one you're supposed to do? We're looking for a lava eel. <laughs> Depends on if they get offended. 
Yeah, but what if you're only there for the first time and you don't know in advance? Because I've had both these scenarios where, like, it's meant to, you know, it's it's polite to say no, but also you're rude if you're saying... I've also been in ones where it's rude if you say no. <laughs> well, you don't know this in advance, what are you supposed to do? I think the aim is don't be there and you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't go. Just don't go. So much trash, I'm getting really bad luck here. Your ADHD self would not make it through one fake convo without somehow losing your soul. Literally. Introvert yourself to safety. <laughs> You're getting burgers for dinner? Oh my god. I'm jealous. Say no first. If they get mad, then say yes. And then chuck it. <gasps> I shouldn't have zoomed out. I always zoom out in the mines out of... Oh, loot though. I always zoom out in the mines out of habit. I shouldn't do this when it comes to fishing because it's significantly harder to see. No, I think I might have just lost the fish to loot. No, no, no. No, we've got it. It's fine. Hey, love it. Why don't you um? Why don't you come home with me? I've got a nice fish pond. Um, we can make the water red, just like your home. It's gonna be okay. I think. Oh, uh, do you like the sound? Okay, you like the sound of that. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We did it. <laughs> that worked so much faster this time. Good grief. Um, let's do one of these mithril bars and then some iridium. Boop. Oh, I still need one more. Mm. Gold. That was a very overthought decision, but we got there. Love it, your whisper. <laughs> I'm taking you straight to your new home. I just have to trust the Junimos will look after it well. You poured a hamburger out of the freezer to make pink spaghetti. What is pink spaghetti? And what's it also got to do with a hamburger? I've not heard of this dish before and I need to know because it sounds really good. Right. One, two, done. Give me, oh, I didn't really want that, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just take it. Okay. So now that that's done, let's go to the mines and try and get ourselves some prismatic jelly. Hopefully not pink because the hamburger's raw. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's why rural pubs are wary of strangers. Interesting. I always get scared while walking into a pub that I don't know. Rose sauce? Marinara and Alfredo mixed. Like ground hamburger and you You like ground hamburger in the spaghetti. Ah, got you. Got you, got you. Slime time! <laughs> the hamburger's really good before we put it in the sauce. Oh, I'm so hungry now. You all made me so hungry. Usually it's the other way around, but this time. Hydration check, thank you. I love the urgency in that. <laughs> Here's the thing is, I, I, I got really good at managing my hydration in streams to the point where I would drink more during a stream than I would any other time of day. But something about <laughs> Ravidex and Terraria has made me hyperfixate to the point where I forget that human needs exist. The rosé sauce. Or is that the is the rosé sauce the Alfredo and marinara? The 
weird TikTok pink sauce that exploded in people's mail because it wasn't stored right. What? Mind you, I'm not really much of a person who's on TikTok very much, so... You were frantic because I missed one earlier. I do apologise. There's a lot going on in the chat right now. And yes, thank you if you're enjoying yourself today. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It does help us out a lot. And it's a good little free way to support the channel. I like this thing so much that body needs no longer exist. The ODHD life. Literally. Literally. This thing is only need. The only need that I need now. What is this pink salt? The thing is also, when you mix like a... Whenever I've had a, a sauce that is like tomato based, but also mixed with a pale sauce, I never see it as pink, it's orange to me. Unless it's like got a pigment in it that would skew it pink in some way. Wasn't the sauce dragon fruit based? That sounds, okay, that sounds good though. That sounds fun. You got a jar of kimchi exploded in the mail. <gasps> no. Your clothes got delivered wrapped in several extra bags. And a very long apology from Canada. Wait. What did so was it? Did someone else's jar of kimchi explode in the mail and it got on your clothes? That were also in the mail. Or did they ship kimchi with clothing? <laughs> I have questions. I have questions. <laughs> Hmm, fermented clothing. That is exactly how I like my outfits. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I want more. I want more Mithra Buzz. Oh, yes, a pickled shirt. The spice is there to keep you warm. They had issues with not labeling it correctly. That is the thing, is like a lot of people like make stuff and just think it you can just sell it as in food wise without you know, all the other stuff that needs to go into selling food. I'm trying to see if there's a slime hidden down here. No. Hey, I mean it could. <laughs> the company was kind enough to send another package to replace it. Aww! Like, yeah, it was one of those things that was, like, really not your, you know, it really was, it wasn't your, I mean, it wasn't the random company's fault either, but it's really nice when they go out of their way to help you in an unfortunate situation, <laughs> in a very unfortunate turn of events. Someone else's jar of kimchi exploded during processing. Your clothes came from the other side of the country. Oh, so they just got transported together and... Hey, put it this way, maybe, maybe those items of clothing absorbed a lot of the mess and maybe your clothes saved the day and prevented a lot of other packages being damaged. You can't control if kimchi will be shipped with your order. <laughs> that sentence is just so funny to me. That reminds me, I need some gochujang. I'm, I've run out of gochujang. <laughs> Desperately need some. I haven't made anything with gochujang in a while and I miss it. We are a pretty neuro spicy in here, aren't we? <laughs> and I love it. I love it. It's kind of nice because like a few years ago, I didn't really truly know that I was neuro spicy. And so like, and not only that, I also didn't know that many people who were either. So it's kind of nice to see a lot of us here together. And hey, as an added bonus, do we all like spicy food here? I'm not talking like knock your socks off spicy, I'm just like any level of spice <laughs> at all. Actually, that is a good point. Uh, Lemon was my first neuro spicy friend. In fact, um, for, th for those who might be like newer, 
I actually met them in, in a time just as I was finding out that I might have ADHD, which was wild. Um, because at that point I knew nobody with ADHD. And then like, I don't know, it was just like the timing of Lemon appearing in life. <laughs> All the questions. I cannot thank her enough. And has become a very good friend in that time. It's wild. It was just the timing of it all that I couldn't get my head around at the time. You were diagnosed over a year ago. Helped more than you know. Oh, Nikki, I love that. Thank you for saying that. I'm, I'm really glad that... um. You managed to get a diagnosis also, that's a whole other thing. It's like a ball going down a hill. You know no one, you start questioning and suddenly you start seeing and meeting people everywhere who have the same thoughts and feelings. You did suspect my ADHD before. Oh my god, yeah, because <laughs> it was literally, it was the time I was literally in that time waiting for the, um the diagnosis and the amount of times Michael would say we are literally the same. It was hilarious. And then um and then I found out and I was like did I was I also saying to you at the time when I was filling out the like assessment I'm pretty sure I was saying to you Lemon that was like I don't know I filled it out but I don't I don't think I do I don't know and then that's when the psychiatrist sits there and goes, um, yeah, yeah, you have ADHD. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you hate the spice that comes from peppers, but love the kind that comes from horseradish and wasabi. Ooh, I'm the opposite. I'm the opposite. I f yeah. But that was because I didn't know anything about ADHD, really. Like at all. Like, Lemon taught me pretty much everything I, I, I knew at the time. <laughs> As in, like, from me going from no knowledge to, like, having someone that is like, I do this thing. Is this because of my ADHD? <laughs> Gonna go grab the burgers. Oh my god. Kaylee, enjoy. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I'm killing a slime here and there. I don't want to kill every single one. Oh, I don't want to pass out either. Let's go home. Um, not enough. Uh, no, I can smell gold. So, mithril bar, iron bars, forage, trash can come home. Just trying to figure out what I don't want to leave here. That'll do. You did the autism assessment and... Oh, you had one as a kid and it got missed? That's wild. You got diagnosed at age 10, have severe combined type. Definitely had not a lot of knowledge that you were able to share. Yeah, it honestly made a world of difference. Like being able to get my head around this diagnosis, having a friend who had a lot of experience with it all honestly it made like all the difference because i had nil understanding about it because the, the reason that i ended up with the adhd diagnosis is because um what we were going to be doing is an autism assessment but the adhd obviously has something that is directly treatable and so they thought okay we'll pursue this first we'll look at the rest after and we didn't get to look at the rest I've done the same with you with autism and now you're on the list for the assessment. Oh my goodness. Wait, I thought that was just because like <laughs> of things that you realised. I didn't realise that I ha had any part in that. I wonder how long it's going to be though. I can't remember 
if I've been told how long it's going to be, but I had to wait for the ADHD reassessment. Um, and then I could get put on the waiting list for the, oh, great please, for the ADHD one, uh, for the autism one. Still going to be years, but it will happen when it happens. Ooh, I see that you've been leaving acceptable offerings for the forest spirits. I guess I can let you purchase a few new items. Let's go see. Certain plants may produce more than one usable crop if you tend to them well. Stop by to see what I have, what else I have to offer. It's better to have before because you can medicate if required. It made a lot of sense. I'm glad they did it that way around. In the end. I mean, I will say that there was there were certain things because obviously, like we knew we knew that there was a lot of crossover with ADHD and autism. But um, there were certain things I remember that you were saying from the crossover that I was thinking, huh? I feel like though that's a part of the other side of me. Like, obviously, you don't. There's, there's some things you don't want to like point towards so much, if you know what I mean. So the day you realised, I was like, yes. <laughs> That makes sense. The nearest spicy peer review. Here come seeds. That's for the spring though. ADHD can mask a lot of autism. Yes, this is very true. This is it's so wild how like opposite they are in ways the waiting this was so long that you got denied oh yeah i think i saw like a it was an instagram reel that was content taken from like a documentary that said in some regions here unless you're in like a full-on crisis they won't accept you for a referral it's just too long which, yikes. I might have noticed them before you realised, yeah. But it's the same way, like, you didn't straight up go to me, I think you have ADHD, you know? <laughs> right, what was I supposed to be doing? Let's go, we'll carry on with the slime. I don't need the fishing rod anymore. Secret third thing. I also read um, something funny that was saying something like um, gifted kid, kid to people pleaser to anxiety and depression to anxiety and depression burnout to um, adult ADHD diagnosis pipeline or something and I was like mm, sounds familiar sounds very familiar sounds um, exactly like my life <laughs> how do you get one um the thing is especially here it's difficult because you have to like go through and know a lot about it before you go to a medical professional because like they'll kind of be like what makes you think that and you have to be ready to list off all the things no exactly lemon exactly what was i here for against slime so familiar it hurts literally but it's kind of nice when you see those things, because it's like, oh, I wasn't the only one who, who, you know, it just went that way. You really do have to um, fight for it, though. Yeah. And it also depends on, like, where you are as to her, whether it'll be okay, because one of the things my GP said to me is she said, like, it makes sense for you to be asking for a referral for this. But, um... Are, you know, because of the long wait, are you sure? Like, make sure it's something that you feel you really, like, want for yourself. Because, when, especially when it comes to things like autism, where it's not like, not like ADHD, where they can, like, medicate for it, for example. Um, it's more kind of, like, knowing for yourself more than anything and, under like, self-understanding. So, like... If you think that will bring a lot to you, then we can go ahead and do the referral, but it depends on how much 
you know you're willing to wait for it and the assessments are very long and stuff so um you know make that decision as to whether you want to go through all that for this and i was like no i do actually really want to i do really want to do this it just kind of brings a lot of answers to life you know it was just <laughs> i'll never get over the way that the um the person who assessed me reassessed me for adhd the second time around she went in because she saw like a lot of um people who diagnose in the nhs they see the private assessment and they're always skeptical which i get it but it's the way that she went at the start of the assessment to be in a bit like not cagey but like you could see she was going in there with many many doubts that i had adhd and by the end of the by about midway through not even that long she could see it so it, it was just like funny seeing the change during the assessment in what she thought like it was so obvious You went ready to fight for the referral and your doctor saw the ADHD diagnosis and went, no, no problem. <laughs> I feel like it's um, somewhat easier that way as well. You got another four years minimum. Yeah, that's about right. Some private ones are bad. Well, the funny thing was, and like, I totally get, she said it wasn't enough information, but one of the assessments, she did multiple assessments with me um like multiple diagnostic assessments and one of them was one was the one that i did with the first private psychiatrist um but i didn't obviously i didn't go into that <laughs> the difference was i wasn't when i when i had that assessment for the first time around i wasn't looking for that diagnosis it was kind of just like all right let's just do it and see <laughs> But I guess like they're not enough information was because they required three different assessing things and a lot more questions. Whereas this one only wanted the one assessment, one of the three that I did. I should probably be checking this for. You've heard people say it's trendy. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't, I don't want to struggle with all these things for fun. I, I heard about the panorama thing. I couldn't watch it. I saw the article about it. I just can't watch that. I can't watch it. I think it would um upset me too much. And like I I don't know. It's just it's not it's not okay. It's not okay. Don't want, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch. I have no plans to watch it. I don't want to I don't want to do that to myself. <laughs> I think it would irritate me to no end. Is the trend the same way left-handedness is trendy? Like, oh my god, I'm gonna decide as a toddler which hand is my dominant hand because everyone else is as if I have any perception. No, absolutely. It's an awareness thing. It's just like when people thought, oh, everyone's got these, um, like even when it came to like other mental health things, oh, everyone's got something now. And it's like, yeah, because people understand and know what they are. I think my favorite thing that I read about, um, recognitions of things like ADHD and autism was people saying like, oh, it, this didn't exist when I was younger and it's like okay but like people didn't always think Pluto existed that doesn't mean it wasn't there uh but I also like I found out somewhat recently as well that they didn't consider anyone to be able to have both ADHD and autism until 2013, which is not very far. 
Uh, not very, not very long ago. <gasps> Getting a load of these good. Where is this slime? I don't want to be doing this for the entire in-game week. I don't want to be still looking for a prismatic slime next week. Injustice for Pluto. <laughs> And like, I know I'm in a very, uh, fortunate situation that I can avoid people with that kind of attitude. Like, I'm, I'm really grateful that because obviously this is my job, I don't have to deal with many people that say stuff like that. And if I ever do, which I never have, to be fair, I never have. But if I do, I can just, just I can just block them and they're gone. They're not autistic, just particular. Oh no, not those. But, uh, some of it is also <gasps> special slime. Not the slime I'm looking for, but I'm still going to kill it anyway. Some of it is also down to like how well people have been masking. Ah uh, yes, 1940s when autism hadn't been invented yet and everyone collected stamps and decorative plates. Your family was shocked. And then in the same breath talking about the wild streak in your family. Yeah. Yeah. But I think like it's one of those things that as I've um matured and stuff compared to I don't know being a teenager. Um it's just like Trying to understand what something is before questioning it in any way, if that makes sense. I must say I don't, because like, you know, as long as they're not harming anyone, why is it my place to decide if something should exist for them or not? Where's this damn jelly? You can't, and also, not everyone's the same. <laughs> and it's all the like, you know, when you when you get when you get like diagnosed with things that are a struggle. And then they turn around and go, yeah, but you did so well in school and stuff. And it's like, no, it's not just about that, though, is it? <laughs> I did because, like, I was a people pleaser. And I mean, it's not that I didn't want to do well in school, but also, like, I just got along well with that sort of stuff. In, like, you know, in ways that it's like I got I got lucky that, I, that some of the things that I happened to do well with was school. Doing well in school does not equal functioning well. No, exactly. Exactly. I was absolutely um, not thriving socially. Like, I had friends. I did not have friends, but... I was always seen as quite strange. And there were obviously, like, certain types of people in school who would not be very nice to me. But I think it got to a point as I was like reaching sort of the later part of secondary school where it was kind of like everyone thinks I'm weird and I'm just going to embrace it. I don't care anymore. Um, and just like learn to live with that when I was younger. However, a bit different as an adult. <laughs> different but you don't have a uh, have a word to describe it yeah that is a, that is a way to also to put it the 
The script is winding you up. You can do this. Maybe it's also because of the hour of the day. Could it be because of the time of day? Sometimes sleep in a fresh brain helps a lot. Have you ever even scripted if you don't want to shove your fist through a computer screen? I mean, I haven't. Not scripted in the same way you have. But mood. <laughs> yeah, mood. <laughs> Just the general, why isn't it working? Of, like, anything. You're having the panic. The panic and late night surge and brain activity, so the timing is perfect. Fair enough. Hey, but you never know. It might come to you in your sleep. Where's the slime? I I used to have such good luck with this. I used to be able to find it, like, within a few floors. You didn't bother trying from six when you realised you were different? Trying to break the generational trauma. I, I'm glad you managed to, to try to do that. It's such a cycle. Wake up the three. Hey, just just keep it keep it nearby. You never know. Or like or like voice note. If you rem if you in case you forget in the morning, voice note it. Voice note it. If you like happen to have it in a dream. Your personal pet peeve is when neurotypical people call neurodivergent people someone with superpowers. No, yeah, no. no. Yeah, the, the only reason we have these superpowers is because we struggle with like 50 other things instead. And that's the thing, it's like, just because there are some parts of it that we love about it doesn't mean it's not a disability. It's such a broad, like, spectrum. Like, I have a great crisis mode. I have a really, really great crisis mode. Like, everything shuts off and I'm in crisis mode and I will just handle it until later. But, like, I got a comment the other day that made me really happy that was, like, they said that they appreciate the fact that I wear my ADHD so openly. And, um, that comment made me really grateful. But also, it's such a part of my brain that I can't, I mean, obviously I point out the fact that it's because of my ADHD, but like, there are things that I do, like talk fast or like, my brain reboots in the middle of a sentence and I can't help that. And if I, if I waited till the days where my brain wasn't doing those things to record or stream, we would just not have any content on this channel. <laughs> One guy you dated as a teen got upset when you told him you were disabled. He was like, no, don't, n no, stop, don't say that about yourself. Oh, no. I've had, yeah, I've had someone say that. To, not that, but like, when I say like, certain things are a struggle because of it. I've been told, oh, just be positive. And it's like, that's not how it works. You got, <laughs> like, what? I, I don't get it. Like, if I, if I think about, like, my chronic fatigue syndrome, for example, if I just be positive about it, I don't suddenly need less sleep. I'm not suddenly less tired. No, it is. It, as much as it sucked, it's also... It is kind of funny when someone says that. Like, no! Stop it. It's midnight. Oh, no. I don't want to pass out during this. I don't want to do this for a third day. Uh, fine, would it? We're having a good chat in the meantime. You're helping me pass the time in doing this. <laughs> it 
acknowledging you struggle is being positive though i never thought of it like that you are right acknowledging like i'm not i'm not trying to hide it it's just like okay but this is how it is and also um the other way to think about it is like how would how would people like they say like oh but you never seem to struggle with this or that before and it's like yeah i didn't say anything about it so how would you know but then if you tell people they're still annoyed that you told them so what are you supposed to do <laughs> which one is it you want me to tell you and acknowledge that there is struggle or like and just pretend it doesn't exist no no i'm not gonna do that You type with one hand super fast because your other hand doesn't have joints. A lady told you she wished she had that superpower. No. I wouldn't know what to say to that if someone said that to me. I wouldn't know what to, to do with that. But okay, cool. But there's all these things that you can use both hands for that I, I can't, you know. You're sitting here while making dinner and nodding to everything and agree. People are uh, kind of horrendous times, huh? Oh no. Yeah, there's a difference between flexibility and hypermobility. That's a big one. Rename James. Acknowledging you're struggling is being positive, though. I feel like that thing's gonna stick with me. Thank you for saying that. A soggy sock. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not mi mistake a soggy sock for a wet boy because, ew. When you stop masking 24-7, you got the worst responses from people around because now you were difficult. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. But at the same time, it kind of showed the difference between the people who... It's hard, isn't it? Because on the one hand, when you're masking, people think they're getting to know one thing, but actually none of that's true. So then, like... But on the other hand, it also shows like who does want to understand you and be there, you know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> yeah. And 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 same for me as well. Lemon's witnessed a lot of my uh my um con consequences is the wrong word. Yeah, fallout, I guess, from not masking as much. Because it's uncomfortable. Why would I... Like, I'll, you know, proudly do things like wear my earplugs in public. I don't care. Not that that's one of the things that people are mad about, but, you know. Um, there you go. For your birthday, thanks. Wait, what? George doesn't love hot peppers. Why did I think that? I confused it with the knee. It's because we're talking. Well, it's neutral. It's still, it's still more than no gift, right? Uh, yeah, Hillary, I had that exact problem and I just, like, went to a different doctor. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I still had to go jump through a bunch of hoops first. But I also fitted the, like, something about it because, um, mine also came after a viral infection. Not COVID. It was bef long before COVID. No, eh, not that long before COVID. It was somewhat before COVID. mask in certain situations just a bit less than you used to you don't mask with your other half or michael and Emma. yeah i feel like it's it's one of those things that we we we, 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 <laughs> we all know what each other's brains are like and it's kind of nice like having a place where thinking about that stuff doesn't matter because it's exhausting isn't it it's exhausting let's have a look what's new here 
Don't discount the value of wild seeds, especially in winter. Oh no, I know. Whoa, what's this? <gasps> I touch. He's look. He, the angry. Fi Can you see that? There's recipes. Do you see the angry face? Hang on. I don't want to read all this. I, I wasn't here to... Oh, this is so much reading. Excuse me. Stop. Look at that. Did you see that? Interesting. The deep forest hides many strange things. If you are interested in any, I suppose I could part with a few of them in exchange for a monetary donation, of course. Show me the new stuff. Rapini seeds. That spring. Oh, oh, five days. No, that's not enough time. Turnips for the winter. We're going to have quite a few things. White grape. Plant in summer or fall. Ooh. Oh, we've got loads of new trees as well. Okay. The overwhelm begins. Tiring, but also you work from home, so it's like low-key masking. Yeah, it's not as... It's not as difficult as having to do it in an office, for sure. We're in a childhood arthritis at age six. That's so painful. You're eating french fries with a strawberry cheesecake blizzard. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. That sounds incredible. Yeah, there are some settings where you do just kind of have to, but that was one of the things is obviously like trying to get into a situation where this became my job, which I'm very grateful that it is, um, was a big part of that because I don't want a mask. Like, it makes me really happy when I see comments talking about like, hey, I, you know, there are things that you do and talk about with like your ADHD and when you talk about autism or chronic fatigue like any of those things that people say like i feel seen or like you know someone understands the struggle and that's what i want like that is such a huge deal to me please eat soon i will be as soon as i finish stream i will be um i'm finishing in 15 minutes as long as i don't forget <laughs> i shouldn't forget i'm really i'm too hungry to forget When you need the team's meeting and immediately unmask and sigh in 20 minute rest. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the meetings, isn't it? Just, just lay on the floor. Lay on the floor. Or you just do something that is like minor awkward that nobody really realized and then you obsess over it for ages what's for dinner i don't really know i haven't decided yet i am very oh, it's not really dinner though i kind of want some toast we we need a food shop we're <laughs> running out of like acceptable meals <laughs> That is the thing about being newer in a team, it's so much easier when you can just sit there and like try to absorb the information instead of like having to think about <laughs> contributing because like I don't mean that in a that sounds like I just don't want to contribute to anything. That's not true, I do. It's not the fact that I don't want to contribute, it's then the overthinking of like how exactly do I go about this. I'll probably have some Biscoff on toast as part of my dinner today. You know the openness? You feel like you're talking with a friend when talking because we understand the struggles. It's, it's also nice because like, especially in streams, especially in streams where we're all having like an actual conversation about it all. Because we all, we all get it. <laughs> you misspoke the other day in a meeting and spent 30 minutes hating your entire existence because oh my god, so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, hating your existence is dramatic, but no, it, 
it, it sounds exactly like the feeling that you get. Get a post low blood sugar headache for the rest of the that's rough. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one of the things could be reminders for food. I mean, I get hungry enough most of the time, but I know that some people don't really think about it sometimes and it can help. You said the wrong word and you wanted to curl into a boil and rot. Yeah, I get that. I, I get that. I remember one of the, the things that felt really awkward to me once, which had nothing to do with saying the wrong thing or anything, but... I remember it, it was a... <clears throat> it wasn't an actual, like, work work call. It was like a... I think it was like a... Christmas... Hangout situation, like because of covid and stuff instead of having the christmas party we all like had a drink or some food nearby and just like chatted because like oh, at one point the team that i was working in were pretty close with each other but or you know some more than others but all the people i was actually close with left um and they were asking me about like oh you're you know you're into gaming or whatever like what kind of stuff do you play and this was like before stardew and um it was trying to ex i can't remember what it was that i was playing at the time because they were like oh my um you know my nephew plays like call of duty and stuff do you play that and i was like no i don't really play those kinds of games like it's more more calm stuff that's more like creatively based i think at the time i was playing things like um the sims or like minecraft things like that how is it 5pm in game already? And trying to explain that without sounding stupid is... <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to know what you said now. <laughs> I have definitely had situations where I would just absolutely... The thing is, I don't remember... Oh, no, wait. This wasn't... This wasn't a word I said wrong, but in the office, I really... I used to like making myself matcha. Like, I still do. So I had a jar of it and I dropped it on the floor and it went all over the carpet. So there's just this, like, mysterious green powder all over the floor. And, um, this was a large office, so you can't just clean it up yourself. You have to call cleaning. They took, like, an hour to come by. So the amount of questions that I got about it... And it wasn't just, it went all over my bag, it went all over me, all over the desk, all over the floor. Also, rest in peace to my matcha because, like, you know, it, it's not inexpensive. <laughs> but the thing is, like, when people, people say, like, about online friends and stuff, like, not being real friends but the way that I think of it the reason I've never understood that sentence is the people that you expose yourself to in real life every day is like a drop in the ocean compared to the amount of people out there who have potentially the same interests and, and stuff as you like why would I limit myself to the very few people that I have the ability to see face to face, who I have nothing in common with. When I wouldn't have, when I don't have to do that. <laughs> matcha Kit Kats. Oh my god. Yes. M mind you, most matcha flavored things. I do have a lot of matcha. Maybe I should bake with matcha at some point. Your nail polish name is matcha. Okay, I adore this. The timing of that. Yeah, we just we just haven't seen enough of each other in person for you to say that to me. Do you apologize? I'm 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 gonna keep my distance. Like why why does it matter, you know? What kind of a social rule is that? Most of your closest friends you got into know are either from the internet or conventions when you still went to those. Yeah, so you like had a place to go that 
was a place for common interest, but then obviously people came from all over for that. Your co-worker left a smoothie on their desk on Friday. <laughs> on a Friday during the heat wave. Oh no, it exploded and covered everything. I bet that smelled terrible as well. A mouse died on a worker's desk in the middle of the day. What? That's not terrifying. London buildings. Oh yeah. I mean, mine... I used to work in London as well. <laughs> very, very large buildings. No, exactly. Exactly. And to be fair, like, what was wild as well is when we were trying to figure out where the heck to live, we ended up on this side of the country because we know Lemon. You used to feel like to make friends online you have to be somewhat extroverted. You're weirdly shy. You're too weirdly shy online more than real life. But that's the thing is like everyone's different with this kind of thing right like not everyone like a lot of people struggle online and stuff as well it's just like i feel like one of the things that's hard with online well i suppose it's any friendship one of the things that's hard is like okay you like meet a new friend and you feel like you've got a lot in common and then like suddenly one day you kind of realize how different you are or like something happens that's like uncomfortable that you don't realize when you thought like oh i thought i was making like a really good friend and you know it's just like it's weird when that happens but that can happen with a real life friend too you just never stop talking and globbed onto my when <laughs> she just never leaves us alone <laughs> it's wild but the thing is it's just like the thing that I also find mind blowing about friend, like just friends in general is that like one day there's this person that you don't know and like they just appear in your life in some way shape or form and then like suddenly you just like know them <laughs> do you know what I mean like one day you didn't know them and then the next day you knew them Have I definitely got the quest? <laughs> uh, so there's a reason we've not been finding the slime. <laughs> you know what I was saying about, um, hey, look, guys, ADHD is my superpower. <laughs> This is giving, this is giving, um, I accepted the legendary fish quest, except I didn't. <laughs> I've just wasted so much time on this. <laughs> At least I noticed for five days to spare, you have a point, you have a point. Oh my god, I'm actually, like, tearing. Can you imagine if Michael Lemma actually hated me, and you're just a leech and just don't leave them, like... <laughs> Thomas never knows if you're upset whenever you're quiet. He gets worried. Honestly, same. Same. <laughs> I mean, the amount of times we've gone and been like, hey, you've been quiet, are you good? <laughs> oh my god! Didn't they get the monster gold for the slimes? This is very true. That you you have a point. You have a point. It's 50 to 60, I'm on the wrong floor. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I just like got it immediately now? It would be hilarious, wouldn't it? It would just be like the most funny way to end today. Oh my god, if I could actually kill it with this weapon though. Nope. One second. Good 
Good grief. You were doing the one life- uh, you were doing the bone frag quest with no way to turn it in. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. It's what I planned all along. Yeah, I totally- I totally wanted to get frustrated at not finding the slime that I need for so long. Poor puppy. Mike was just, um, come in the room to chill for a moment. And so, Poppy's like, ah, oh, person on bed, perfect. All right, I'll try one more, one more time. They're all saying hi to you. Did that come through? I don't know if that came through. I hope that did. Ghost? No ghost. Come on, give me a ghost. I guess I'm gonna have to pass out doing this now. I, I think it's only right. Oh, but I'm... Focus on the ghost. Focus on the ghost. I ADHD too close to the sun. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. That's hilarious. It's it's just like, how symbolic is it? The way that we were talking about just ADHD and all that kind of stuff and uh, for it just being like, no, I didn't want to sit here and not find slime for an hour of my day. Please say may clip that. Oh no. I mean, I could always go back and find the moment later. I'm really glad though that I had the moment that, you know, the horrible moment of like checking clips what you were distracted and me finding out, I guess, about um, it not being the right quest. And now I'm not getting the ectoplasm. I like taking stuff out of my hotbar so I can see better. I can't believe that. It's just it's just the way that we were talking about all these things whilst this was happening. Oh, does the clip button not come up until like after, does it? Uh not after, but you have to not have been on the page when starting the stream. Now I'm trying to like, out of spite, get this thing before the day is up. I'm not going to kill this before 1, uh, 2 a.m. Get over here. Nope. Nope. Listen, we tried. We tried. I have indeed. New time and episode in the works every week. <sighs> How do I move stuff fast like that? Oh, what, at the bottom? I think I just... Did I shift click it? I shift, I shift clicked it. There we go. Oh, no! Yeah, that's rough. You're having a rough time with that at the moment, May, aren't you? But anyway, I think I think that's where we're going to call it today. I need to eat something. I think my brain is done, as we can tell. <laughs> but I've had a very nice chat with you all today. Um, if you haven't already, please do go ahead and like the stream. It does help us out a lot. It's a good little free way to support the channel. And next thing you're going to see is the Talman episode that we have been speaking of. So I hope you guys enjoy that at the weekend. And um, next stream for Terraria on Monday. And this will be next Wednesday. So um, I'll see you all then. Bye!